There are a couple of things you should know about the program you're about to watch. Our first guest, Gigi Allen, has been called the most violent man in rock and roll. Some of what you're about to hear may not be suitable for children. Also, four nights after Gigi Allen taped this broadcast, he gave his last concert here in New York. As usual, his performance was fraught with the onstage violence that had become his trademark. The next day, Gigi Allen was found dead. A police investigation is underway into the cause of his death, but a drug overdose is suspected. What follows is Gigi Allen's last interview. Parental discretion is strongly advised. This rock musician says he has more power over your children than you do. I have such a, a, a fierce, intense fire burning inside of me that just was, was so much that just wants to explode. Gigi Allen brags he's on his way to becoming the leader, the messiah for America's youth. He already claims to have a million followers. Wherever he goes, he plays to sell out crowds. And this is what they see. Concerts filled with violence, bloodshed, and sexual assault. Gigi Allen wants to lead America's young people in a bloody revolution to take over the country. And he says nothing can be done to stop him. Why is that, Gigi? Nobody will stop me because I am the true underground messiah. When you come to my show, you're going to a war. And I'm out for violence, chaos, un lawlessness all the way. I don't care about anybody or anything except for myself and my mission. And your kids out there, if you've got kids out there, they're going to be my kids. I'm going to own those kids. They're going to do anything that I say. And why is that? Why do they do anything you say? Because I'm the king. And they can identify with me because the real true nonconformist children in this country are sick and tired of their parents, their schools, their people force feeding them what to do. I am the answer. When they listen to my lyrics and they listen to my songs, they're listening to the way okay. that it really should be. And you know that and I know that. So don't brain because your kids are my kids all right let me i don't mean any disrespect here i had never heard of you before we were going to do this show okay and i did a lot of reading about you all right now i want to know is this you seriously mean what you're saying absolutely this is not i've act. been doing this ever since i was a child i have been this is what you see is what you get i do this when i wake up tomorrow morning i'll still smell the same way i'll still look the same way this is not a show this is not an act i am that guy now do you okay do you honestly believe yes. that you're a charismatic figure I believe that I am the king. I am the messiah. I rule the rock and, and roll on the God. I'm bringing us to a revolution against the government, against the police, against any form of society that is trying to put us down and restrict us in any way, shape, or manner. You cannot conform. You must be a true nonconformist. To hell with what your parents have to say. Okay, okay. I am the man. Okay. So all you have to do is listen to what I have to say. Okay, well, who told you you were the Messiah? I said I was. Okay. And I am because these kids, I get letters from all over the world. People worship me. They come to my shows. I'm going to rape the girls. I might rape the guys. I might have sex. I'm, I want it all. I want it all, and I'm going to have it all. Okay, let me ask Because I am everything. All right, yeah. You, uh, you go way beyond sex, drugs, and rock and roll in your performances. You uh, self-mutilate on, on I stage. I self-mutilate. I beat the <laughs> out of my audience. If they're in my way, I take them out. I don't care. I don't care about anybody or anything. When you come to my show, I'm the boss. I'm the king. You do what I say. You can challenge me. I have no problem with yeah. that. I, I like the confrontation. Yeah. But you're going to lose. All right, do you... Are you, are you proud of what you do? Absolutely proud of what Why I do. Why are you proud of what you do? Because I am who I am, and I'm not a phony like everybody else out there. I am real. And I, how many of you can, at 35 years old, sleep with 16, 12, 13-year-old girls and boys and animals? Hey, this is the life. I got it all. And I got your kids. You worried about him, audience, or what? Yeah? You no, better be. How many of you aren't worried? How many of you think this is so ridiculous your kids would never buy you're, into well, it? You're, Okay, right. well, come on. Come what? on, I'll take you on. Well, run right, right now. Come on. All right, simmer down. Come simmer on down. down. Simmer down. We'll simmer see, down. won't we? All right. This sounds like you, I mean, it sounds like you're real angry. I've been angry since the day one. I knew the yeah, day well, I why, was born. Why are you so angry? I just hate everybody. There's no need for me to like everybody. Everything that I have in this world, I put back into number one. I am number one. I don't need to give anything to anybody. You don't need to give anything back. I don't need to give anything back. I take it all. All right, why, do you know why you have so much hatred? 
I have so much hatred because I look at these people, these robots, these, these conformists, these people that dress in their uniforms, and I'm sick and tired of it. What are you wearing? What is this that? This is not a uniform that's for me. That's not a uniform? You could say it's a uniform. I could say that's a uniform. So I got a uniform, this is what you don't I have would, a uniform. No, this is what I wear every day. If you see me tomorrow anywhere in Manhattan, you'll see me wearing yeah. this, and probably a whole lot less because you people wouldn't let me take my clothes off. I'd rather be out here naked. This was a good decision. It does not matter. All right. Yeah. This is real, and it's very important that people know that their kids are my kids, and I'm going to teach them, right. and you can't have them back. You've repeated yourself on that Well, one, I'll okay? repeat it again All until right. you get it right. I want to get new information. We have limited time here. Um, do you what care do you want? About, Do you care about anything? I don't care about anything but myself, and what I write and what I do is law. How many times have you been in jail? I've been in jail. I've been arrested over 52 times. I've spent three years in prison. You. Uh, what's your ultimate idea of a, of a performance, of a fantasy performance? All of, it's not a fantasy performance, Jane. Come on, everything I do is real. It comes out of my head. Well, what's your I live this life every day. When I'm on stage, it's my therapy. It's not a performance, it's a ritual. And the ultimate performance would be when I have reached my peak, and I'm not there yet. So don't y'all clap when I say this. I'll commit suicide, but I'll take your kids with me. What does that mean, you'll take, your, take our it kids with you? It means what you, whatever I just said, I'll take them with me. Well, what's it mean? Doesn't it make any I'll sense. I'll kill them too, if I have to. Or they may kill themselves. When you reach your peak, it's time to die. And when do you think your peak's gonna whenever be? Whenever the battle is over, yeah. whenever you have lost the power to fight. When you have got the power to fight, you fight. When you lose the power, you kill yourself or I'll kill you. Are you a happy person? I'm beautiful. <laughs> He's happy. All right, let me, let me just, all right, how many of you, we have some of your fans in the audience, uh, identify yourselves here. Anybody? <coughs> yeah, just, I didn't want to guess, okay? Stand up for me here. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's his appeal as you see it? Well, I'm his brother and I'm the bass player in his band, the Murder Junkies. Oh, you and, are his brother, for yes, real? Yes. And, Your brother? You know, I, I just I just think that touring with Gigi is, is a great experience because it's you don't go on stage, you don't do the same thing night after night like most of these lame ass boring bands. You get up there, you're gonna see something different and something new and something exciting every night. And you believe Whether in the somebody gets beat up or sent to the hospital. What is this or about beating people up? What is this about it's a, great you know, feeling. it's a war out there. What's you know? a war? You see these people beating each other up in the audience? Well, well we beat that's them up problem, afterwards. You know? Well, wait a minute. Okay, thank you very much. What? Well, it's the, it's the whole confrontation. See, a lot of people come to my shows expecting a freak show, and they get caught up in the crossfires because they don't realize that what goes on in my mind is very real. And if they're in my way, and if I see somebody there that's just there to see the freak show, then they're, then they're going to be taken out. The only people that are left in my are my allies who are standing at the end of the show. Those who have been sent to the hospital, those who have been raped or left or ran out the doors, they're the enemy. The people who stay are the allies right. of which we take you, on and we will rule. You mentioned this rape thing. If you were really a rapist, I mean, you'd be in jail for a lot longer How than do you three know? years. How do you know? Just a guess. I don't... I get girls to give me what I want. This is... But this is... I then have, why is that rape? They're consenting to give you sex. They're consenting, but I have had women on stage that weren't consenting, and I don't care. I will continue to have those women. Well, I'll pull God, them up I... on stage. Well, say what you want, but you can... All right. I have raped women on stage, and I've raped men on stage. I've had women come on stage and, and, and suck my and, and whatever I wanted them to do, because I'll just take them up there. Um, if you're so proud of what you do, why don't you off the hat and the sunglasses? You know, you'll never. I, I'll never I can look you right you. in the I don't eye and to say, anybody. I go to school so I can put people. So like I don't care. So you bars. go to school. You go to school. Yeah, wow. I go to school. What are you going to learn person. in school? You I ain't going to learn nothing in school. Because I'm the only one that can teach you. Take your hat off and sit back down. I'm the only one that can teach you. You can't teach me. I am the savior. I am the God. And I'll look you straight in the eye. And I'll tell you that because I am the Do God. me a favor. Would you sit? Would you sit? To, all right, you're not on mic back there. Sit down for me. What do you really think is so special about you? I'm a very unbelievable person because I believe in myself and I have a very strong mind and I can get anything that I want. And most people go through life very bland and very boring and they accept what's given to them. They accept what people teach them and what people tell them. I have said no over and over again to authority. Authority cannot tell me what to do. The schools cannot tell me what to do because from day one I never listened to them. I taught myself. I'm strong. I'm very strong. 
And, and I'm very proud of the if person so that strong, I am. Because then why do you want to go down in flames and peak out when, at an early when age? at my peak? Because I don't want to die a boring death like all of you people will probably do. I'm going to live to the maximum capacity. Right. And when I reach my capacity, go down in flames. Why do I want to get old and get boring? Is this what happens? You get old, you get boring? I didn't think, Well, no. most people do. There's no age. I'm not setting, I'm not setting an age limit yeah. on it. I'm saying when you reach that peak, there's no age. But you immediately assume... Some people reach their peak at 10. Some people reach their peak at 40. Okay. You immediately... Uh, you assume that all of us out here are boring people. Is that your assumption? I assume that just by looking at most of you, you probably are. All right. But after you reach your peak and you commit suicide, you're gonna go to hell and you're gonna live a miserable life. How do you life. know that? I'm gonna live I know. forever because my soul's too short. But I know you're See, gonna go to hell and you're the one that's gonna go to life. nowhere land, baby. Because I'm gonna live forever. My soul is too strong. It Wait can't a second. All right, when me... you die in your peak, you can't die. Your soul cannot die when you die in your peak. All right, wait a minute. You're wearing me out here, Gigi. Uh, what, is it, what do you think motivates this guy, folks? Who's got an answer to that question? All these ludicrous people that listen to him, those are the people that motivate him. Because if ludicrous people wouldn't be listening to him, no, then he would have no reason weakling, to be weakling, with them. Weakling. You are okay? nothing. You I'm are a weakling. I want to live until I'm 80 small. years old. I mean, you're I that big. Okay, and my kids will never follow you because your I'm kids Hispanic will be right on to and this. we don't listen to none your of your kids. Okay? And you might be too. You're well, not, come on. You're not on microphone. Yeah, okay. Next, we're going to meet two 17-year-old uh, girls who are true believers in everything you've just heard Gigi Allen say. They've given up everything to follow him, and they say they'd do any for, anything for him, even die. We'll be back. you as to whether Gigi Allen says he really intends to go through with his suicide plan remains to be seen. What remains to be seen? Rock musician Gigi Allen sees himself as a savior for America's young people. He says he's training them to carry out a revolution based on destruction and violence. Joining us now are two of his devout followers. Wendy and Liz are both 17, and they say they'd do anything for Gigi Allen. Really? Anything? Yes, I will do anything for Gigi Allen. I will die for him. I will do anything for him. He is my God. He is my daddy, and I will do it all for him. He's your daddy? What's that mean? He is my daddy. He adopted, I've adopted me. her. When she came out and followed me on the road, I told her, I, I showed her more things than her daddy could ever show her. He is my Literally. daddy. And on Father's Day, what did we do, daughter? On Father's Day, my daddy gave me the great gift of letting me watch him masturbate, and I got to in his mouth, and it was the greatest father-daughter experience I've ever had in my life. <laughs> do you have parents? I don't care about I them. Who cares? He's my parents. parent. So you have parents, but... He's your father. Who, needs he, who cares? Who needs them? He is my only. He's what, my God. Okay, he's my what, dad. You know, I'm hearing a lot of rhetoric here. What I'm not hearing is what his appeal is. What's his appeal? He's the most gorgeous human to walk the face of this earth. He is God. He is the greatest. He understands my my anger. He understands me, and he he teaches me everything I need to know. I don't need anyone but him. I don't need any school. I don't need any government. I need him. That's all I need, and that's all I live for. You know, I. I don't want, I, you know, I don't want to annoy you, but it sounds, you sound like almost like you've been brainwashed by him. You I'm sound not like, brainwashed. I know exactly what I'm saying. I teach these but people you, you to be strong. But you sound like you've got this, like, but you sound like you have this, like, rap down, and it, does, it sounds like it's his rap. What's it's your rap? It's not his rap. It's, it's the way I feel, and I it's teach, the truth, I, and anyone who doesn't believe it can just go to hell. I teach them to be strong. I teach them to follow me, but I also t teach them to be strong individuals. Independent strong? It, independent strong, but, but my way or the highway. Well, okay, do you feel like you're, do you feel like you're uh, independent? Oh, yeah, I'm completely independent. I, I mean, I have made my own decisions for myself. You know, I got up and I, I quit my job and I left my family and my friends. I sold my car, I left my home to, to be with him and to follow him and to go with him across the country. And, and what spoke to you about him? Gigi is... is He's a great teacher. He's taught me a lot of things. He's taught me to stand up for myself, and he's given me a lot of positive energy. 
and he, he's got a lot of power with me. And so you have no other life but him? Not right now, no. I mean, my life is what I'm doing. Do you have a family someplace else? Yeah, I have a family. And I hate my family. You hate your, have you always hated your family? Yeah. I've hated them for a long time. They're negative people. They don't, they don't, they don't help me think better of myself. They only tell me bad things about me. They, you know, they don't say anything good to me. They don't teach me to stand up for myself. They teach me, to, they shelter me. That's what they want to do. That's why I had to get up and, you know, leave because... And he was the answer for you. That's why yeah. these girls are better off to be with me because whatever they do, or whatever happens to them when they're with me, won't happen to them with anybody else. Well, if they I hang would, out with you, they could wind up in jail, couldn't they? They could wind up in jail. They could wind up in a hospital, too. But now that wouldn't but, bother so. you? Or are you saying, Liz, that that wouldn't bother you? To wind up in a hospital? Or jail. Or jail? No, it wouldn't bother me if I'm doing what I want. If they end up in jail, jail is only going to make you stronger anyway. Putting somebody in jail is not going to slow them down. I've been in jail many, many times, as you well know. Every time they put me in jail, every time I come out that much stronger, because all I have to do is sit in there and reload the gun and plot for the next target that I will come in front of. Because it makes me much more violent when, when I go back. What do you think is going to happen to your life? What do you see yourself doing? I feel that very soon there will be another Holocaust and it will be led by Gigi. And, and we're going to destroy the world and we're going to create violence and, and all your children are going to turn against you and they're going to follow Gigi and they're going to follow us and we're going to just lead everyone straight to hell and we're just going to be the leaders of the universe and anyone who doesn't follow us is just going to die. <laughs> then I right guess now, you're not going to your senior prom. Right, right now, we, me and Gigi are going across the country and we're going to, you know, screw with people and we're going to, you know, take what we want and we're going to do what we want. And you're, everybody here... Life is too short yeah. to, to, to wait well, for know, things to happen. You can take them. You, you can get whatever good, you, you want. You bring up a good point. There's so much misery in the world already. Why would you... The sex this and is not violence, misery to us. This is what we want to do. We're taking what we want to do. Beating you people, people always dream about what you want. I'm doing what I want. I'm having sex right. with these girls. This is... Yeah. You know, that's okay. fine. I can get what I want. I can have what I want because I can take it. Do you have what you want, really? Yes, I have what I want, but I'm going to have a whole lot more. All right, now, the sex and violence doesn't bother you? No, not at all. I'm, I, love, I love to be violent with people. You do? Yeah, I hate people. You hate people? I hate people. All people? Most people. Just on sight, you hate them? Yes, I just hate what, what people stand for. Many people, you know, you stand for all different things, and I hate most of them. They're all robots. They're all controlled by our society. Our society has no right to tell us what we can and cannot do. Okay, audience, what do you think? <laughs> Stand up. Uh, any of them on drugs? <laughs> I have to be very serious. Are you serious. on drugs? Are you? Are you? Are you? We're I think on you drugs. Are. We're, just we're on drugs when we choose to be, when but it's not a necessity. We have strong minds. So that means yes. That exactly. means when we, we, do want what we want to be. We do drugs if we want to do drugs. We'll rape you if we want to rape you. I don't we'll... know what's responsible. Do you have children? <laughs> right. Do you have children? She's off mic right now. Stand up well, over that's here. That's too bad because we're gonna take them down, all of them. My question is to all three of you. You say you're the Messiah, but there is one Messiah, that's God. I and, am God. And my advice, if you are led by that and God, my advice so to do, you are fooled by a false Bible and a false bringing up because there is only one true God and that lives within my me. Advice, I am that God. You can read the Bible, but it's crap. I'll wipe my butt with it. My advice to these <laughs> two lovely girls, please don't follow this man. Follow Christ. He's all the he, way. They are. All right. I am Christ. He I is. am Christ. He's not. I hear all this t talk about free sex. Don't you consider about your HIV status? Who cares? What? My sex life is my business. They can have sex with don't me worry and about they, it. If this they, is all you're if they say don't there. have a problem with it, why would you have a problem with it? Uh, I'll just... Okay, I know. Yeah, quickly here for me. I know they want to take a break. If yeah. you're such a god and such a messiah, aside from the three idiots and these two Beetlejuice looking guys, where are all your followers? Where are all your followers? You gotta be joking. Come on. How could you have no, sex with look these at girls? You. You're look the at most these horrible beasts. I don't you're understand You're just young because you can't have you are, them. You're black girls. I'm not saying I'm going to rape somebody. You're probably to some Look at this. This is disgusting. All right, all right. So what? All right, all right. So what? All right. We can be disgusting. If we want to be disgusting, we can be 
the next the group of young people known as the club kids who are the consummate pleasure seekers. They work at only one thing, having fun, and that translates into staying out all night, doing drugs, and partying. We'll be back. with rock musician Gigi Allen who says he's the self-proclaimed messiah of America's youth. Now meet the club kids. They say they don't need a messiah. Walt Paper, Michael, Richie, and Julie have made the pursuit of pleasure into a religion. They are total hedonists who live to stay out all night, do drugs, and party. That simple, Walt Paper, yes? Yeah, well basically <laughs> we get paid to show up at nightclubs run around, even though drugs aren't required, a lot of times they come in contact with what we do because, I mean, our job is to run around and have fun and be glamorous and look good. And so a lot of times when people run around and have fun, of course, drugs, you know, are a lot of times a part of it, but it's not a major part of it. Basically, our job is entertainers and attractions at nightclubs. So you get paid to show up at parties like this? Yes. Why? Like this? Why because not? Because we look like this. Oh! Okay. Because we, because we attract attention, no. you know what I mean? People come and it's just like as if a, a musician was supposed to show up at a club. People go who appreciate that musician. We have people out there who appreciate So us. you each have a following it's because for... because of our sharp wit and personality. Oh, I can <laughs> understand <laughs> that. Our... Well, now, can you make a living at this, Michael? Oh, my God. It's, <laughs> it's easy to make. Well, in New York, you can. Yeah? yeah? It's a lot easier in New York than other cities. A lot of kids from all over the country come to New York Mm -hmm. And write us letters and call us and ask us how to become how, we how be you become like a love kid. Yeah. We want to be like you, you guys. You're role Give us a job. Are We're kind of like him. In, in, a, well, in a different kind of way. You know? well, how would you explain that? Well, we, because just what he said. Like, we're like we're our own messiahs yeah. too, and we, you know, and right. I mean, we, we have a different belief than him, but we just like he said, I agree. We believe in ourselves, and it's all about you know. Uh, but it's it's yeah. and we step yeah. outside of what normal people do. I mean, exactly. our lifestyles are as far from normal and regular as anything else as what he's doing. It's just on a different level. We you know what I mean? Don't they're, achieve they're more the violence. We're more annihilators. Right. So right. The, uh, his, the, his, sort of his, the yin and yang, you know. His yeah, thing yeah. is a little bit more political than ours. Ours is more social, you know. We're and dealing with social things in society okay, and superficial, superficial things. Superficial. There's no redeeming social value It's to what a you totally do. superficial scene. We're not doing it for political reasons or social reasons. Uh -huh. You know, the club kids are there to mm -hmm. have fun. We're like an invitation to everybody. It's like you can choose to look at it one way, like to the negative, but it's more the positive. It's like it's a, par a dress-up party and everybody's invited. Okay, but now, do you see yourself as doing this like, you know, 30 years from now? Oh, God, yeah. yeah. I, have the Peter Pan I mean, we just get better, yeah. you know, and in more demand, you know what I mean? It's because we establish ourselves more with the things that we do, with our outfits, with our looks, and that's how, why we get paid to do what we do. I mean, there's a lot of other people that go to nightclubs and dress up, but not necessarily all of them get paid. You have to reach a certain level. So you're saying you can make a living at this? You file well, a... We do. Hold on. You file a tax return on that sort of stuff? It's, a, it's a stepping stone to something else. It's also. like a vehicle to launch different careers. It's like show business is show business, and it's like we use this as our foundation to this move is, up to higher things. Or some people just choose to just do this, like This she is said. a scene that, gi that gives... Um, that gives birth to a lot of stars of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The scene uh, started Delight, the scene started Madonna, ah, RuPaul. RuPaul. A lot of talent comes out from this. They start as club kids and they dress up and have fun to get exposure, to get people noticed. You earn a name for yourself and then Designers. you go on to do something else. If you go, go on to be a designer, suddenly it's not Joe Smith designing an outfit, it's <laughs> Desi Someone Monster who's already or Walt Paper. And, exactly. and you'll have an established scene and you'll have a following that will go out and buy those okay, clothes or you, buy your records or is whatever. Like dirt, uh, is work a dirty word in your vocabulary? Th believe me. This yep. is a ton of work. It is. Oh, so it is work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it takes a lot of work. To, it's not you know easy I mean? getting Look up at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and, well, and coming to the Well, it's not easy, but it's different than choosing to, like, punch in a time clock because it's like, even if we if, even if we didn't make a living at it, we were doing it before. See, because I, I guess I was misinformed. I heard that a lot of kids with trust funds and kids with rich parents well, did this. Well, that's how you start. That's, that's how you start. Oh, that's how you start. I, mean, I, definitely I came to New York to go to school and essentially took the money that I was using for school, at least part of it, and started buying my clothes. And that's how you start. You bought this? Yeah. Well, actually, no. I no, didn't I, I, I didn't mean it that way. Let me just, what is, I mean, it looks like an ace bandage. Well, it's actually made by a designer Michael named Michael Schmidt. Oh, my God. Who does clothes for Cher. All right. Cher. All right. <laughs> All right. And 
But basically, it starts out like that. But once we establish ourselves, then the money starts coming in. We get paid exactly. to show so up. But basically, like, rich once your kids, parents find out what you're doing, the trust fund is it's cut like off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, but you all came from some process. sort of financial cushion, in other words, basically. The, it, it helps to start mm -hmm. out that way. Okay. Then you don't have to move to New York and live in a rat hole. You know? Exactly. Right. All right. You have an like established my, re residence, a dorm. You know what I mean? You have a pretty solid setting. Do you think you, this is like a phase you're going through? Well, my mother, oh, let me answer that. <laughs> <laughs> my brother's a lawyer. My mother always asks me, you know, Richie, are you ready to, to go back to school yet? And I say, she goes, you know, are you going through some sort of stage or something? <laughs> It's not a stage well, I'm in, it's it a stage I'm on, you know? It is and it isn't, though. Everybody it's is going, constantly going through stages and phases in their life. And like I mm -hmm. said, it can be a stepping stone to a career or to really whatever you and want plus, it to do. And plus you find that, um, you know, we're just... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, is your worst nightmare having a boring life? You. Yeah. Oh, is, is this, is this like what? I think yeah. it should be everybody. That's why, yeah. that's why not everybody's just so ours. And miser when you walk down 34th Street in Manhattan, everybody has this miserable look on their face like, I hate, uh, you know, I hate my life and I hate what I'm doing. I hate being here. And it's because they're not doing what they want to do. Choice. They're you doing what somebody else around. wants and to plus, do. Exactly. We've been doing this when we were growing up. I mean, most of us, right, when we were growing up, we found ourselves in different scenes, but we were still the weird ones. We were still the freaks. We were still the ones that stood out. It's just now. We've gotten One over being joked and being <laughs> well, the now underdog, you get paid and now we're the superior yeah. because we're being paid to do what people were originally joking us for. But I don't think we should ju be saying that we're doing it just to get paid. We're, we're trying no, to no, set no, an no. example. No, it's an icing on the cake. Exactly. Right, exactly. What is the example you're trying to set? To let people know they don't have to follow the rules and not enjoy their lifestyle. Okay, let me just ask the audience. Anybody here inspired to follow, follow the club kids in terms of all pleasure, no work? Ah, we work. What? We work, though. Anybody in the back? Somebody in the back? All right, we're going to find out during the break. We're going to take another There's break. There's a snake over there, I think. I no, I don't think so. All right. Next, a police officer who warns that America's youth is headed for disaster. He's... He says Gigi Allen and the club kids personify why young people are more violent and self-destructive than ever before. We'll be back. If your spouse has unrealistic or unusual sexual expectations and it's ruining your marriage, please call 1-800-370-2712. generation on a dangerous road to violence and destruction? Police Sergeant Steve Rogers says yes. He says more than ever before, young people are turning violent or spinning out of control. Great. Um, is this an, I don't know, is this an example of what you're talking about? Well, to about? begin with, uh, Jane, David Koresh resurrected here, said that he's real. The fact of the matter is he is real. He's a real sick animal who belongs in the yeah, well, you, 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 You want, I'm but I'm going to have to listen to you because I think you're a stupid you cop. You <laughs> Yeah, let me just go you ahead. You need to get a job on Dragnet or These something. These individuals... Uh, all right, Steve, go ahead. Yeah. These individuals work on fear and intimidation. Look at the helmet. Anti-Semitism written all over them. You probably want to see... I don't need the helmet, sir. Good. I'm I can glad look you at you right in the eyes, and I can say, I still think you're an ass. I'm glad you just showed me you have no brains. I got more brains in my head than you'll ever Thank have you. in ten heads. Your name is Gigi. You no, yeah, change. no. You ought to change, change your name to faggot. You ought to change your name. To no brain, to no nut, no balls. All right, all right, come here. All right, all right. this is not going anywhere. Well, just, if he's gonna excuse say me, you talk. Then I'm gonna say. Okay, can I just say something? Like just a second. Let me just say something here. Nobody... You talk. You talk for the whole first segment over ten minutes. Well, just give him, him a tell shot. Me what to say. All right. Well, I'm, don't no, tell, he's not telling he's you what to well, say. Well, he's not gonna insult my intelligence. You gotta All change right. your initials to ASS because you gotta change your ass to fucking BRT. Steve. Change your initials to P.I.G. you spit at me. What are you going to do? You're going to have a real problem. I don't think so. going to take a break. We'll be back. So. We'd like to hear from you. Send your letter in care of Jane Whitney, Columbus Circle, Post Office Box 20314, New York, New York, 10023.
Sticking with rock musician Gigi Allen, the club kid, Sergeant Steve Rogers. You had some you want to say. I just have a comment to okay. make and a question. With the club kids, I could deal with them because I live in the clubs. Limelight, mm -hmm. Rosewood, okay? Yeah. So I know what type <laughs> of crowd they are. <laughs> Good for them. But it's those two young girls, I can't understand how they can allow themselves yeah. to be brainwashed by... They're not oh, brainwashed. Wait, let me finish what They're I'm going to say. <laughs> 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 Yes, yes, we what's gonna, what, what, what's going to happen to you when your so-called messiah disappears? We're going Where's with him. him. You're going with him? Um, You're sick. I, I, I don't okay, know. I know. You don't You're get sick. it. I understand. Uh, Steve, we, you didn't really talk about... I mean, she says the club kid, she can deal with the club kid. She does the club scene. I mean, do you have a problem with the way they live? Well, any, anyone, if in fact they are uh, involved with drugs, drug abuse, I don't... I don't condone that. I think that's wrong. I think it's, 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 it's again, it's terrible. Uh, ruining the moral fiber of our country. What we, we have terrible. here, what we have here, and I, I think this is important to address, <laughs> is a chilling wind sweeping across this nation, whereas <laughs> these individuals are, are, are trying to capture the hearts and minds of young people. Uh, this, to me... No, that's what you're trying this, to do. This, to me, is a complete waste. And no, uh, you're we the everyone is trying to control trying, the minds of young people. One of the problems is what they want to do. One of the problems is to Please. take drugs. Look. You should be able to take drugs. One of the problems Dress we the have. Dress the way they want and do what they want to do. Who are you to say? I happen to be a police officer. Who well, I don't care who you are. You belong are. in prison. You have a problem. I don't have a problem. You belong in prison. You are in prison. Let me tell you something. You are in prison in your own you. mind because you can't live the way no, you want to condemn do. everybody out the guy, way they live. This guy, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm the epitome of why exactly. this country is going down the No, side. we're going and, up. And gonna, we're going up. You're going There's down. something else, Jane, that he said. He said that he's not afraid of anyone. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. I challenge him right now to what? Go to Harlem. I go to Harlem. To walk the streets. Let's go. And oh, if you have your hate, I would. You don't I, have the guts, I have the to, guts do to do whatever it takes for me to do. I'll do whatever. You want to go? I'll, I'll ride with you. <laughs> Show. You ain't got the balls to come to one of my shows hey, either. Imitation. Why don't you come in to one of my shows? Imitation. You're a fake cop. It, you're, a, you're a wannabe cop. I am? You, I'll tell you what. Yeah, you I'm okay. not leaving New Jersey. Guys, oh, I don't care. Guys, the outfit. Guys. Well, that's your problem. All right, listen. I'm going to ask you one more time, okay? I know. I know. Nobody gets hurt. Just trust me on that, all right? Uh, you want to say something down here? Let's talk about Yeah, I have an opinion. I think that the club kids and Gigi Allen, I'd rather have my kids follow original thought like that. Then grow up to be like this cop right yes. here. Yes, I agree with that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And wearing a tasteless suit. Jane, Jane, again, we go back to, to what is fundamentally right. Let's what get him. Right. Okay, but, but it is your thing. Okay, hold on a second here. I mean, conforming is one thing, right and wrong is something else. You're talking. But who's to say what is right and wrong? Hmm. Him? Well, I mean, there are most people, the majority of people would probably say that beating up on other people and Jay, slashing people your head with a razor. Beating up people on get people. Paid to get beaten up. Beating up on people, raping people. Uh, et cetera, et cetera, is wrong. I don't know what it is right in that. It's wrong. It's right. It's right. right. What, Michael? You, we have a little pill that this man could take that would change his whole attitude <laughs> on that. <laughs> yes. Oh, Give it to him. Give him an overdose. Oh, I only have two left. <laughs> What now you're have, like real, oh, why isn't he busted? Why is he well, open about well, this? Well, obviously, he's taking <laughs> well, so many pills, his brains are fried. No, this is a tranquilizer. What is it? Brains are fried. I'm leaving. I'm and this is a prescription. Yeah. So, th so this is like, but this is what you do when you're in the clubs, this sort of thing. Well, it makes it, it makes it a lot too. easier to like handle things. Jane, what <laughs> we're seeing here is the attempt to glorify the abuse of drugs, yeah. the abuse of people, the spewing of hatred to legitimize this. I don't see anything that's right with that. It's all wrong. He okay. didn't give more hip and all to to promote drug. Use for everybody in the audience. No, I, I, I want him to calm Jane, down a little bit. I'll tell you who I am, all right? You are nobody to tell us what we can Last year, Jane, you live your I life, and you, we'll live ours. I'll give you a perfect illustration of what I mean. Last year, I happened to be on an attorney general's task force to Israel. Israel. Oh, I walked oh. through the Holocaust <laughs> Memorial. I saw with my own eyes the results of animals like this and like Hitler and the rest of them, what they could do like to Hitler. this nation. It's wrong, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to stand up, America. You've got to wake up. You and against people like him who are trying to control us. They're trying to control you a whole lot more than you are. The, you are
so idiotic. You try to tell us what we can't get us. You try to arrest us. You come to my shows and put me in jail for what people pay to see. And your people are coming and locking me up. You can't lock me up because you're telling them that it's okay that I should go to jail. You got one of those pills, give them one to calm down. No, you're saying that I should go to jail because I do what I want to do. Can we get to, get to this gentleman, please? You know, um, no. us. It'll be about 15 minutes. It'll take him about 15 minutes to watch it. You know, um, I serve this country, <laughs> and um, I'm going to tell you now, if I serve this country for people like you, I feel sad. This country's in sad shape. But yeah, both of you like you. Y'all are sad. We agree. We want to. Are you from the South? Wait, where are you from? Okay, Richie, what? Sir, you The thing is, I'm sorry. He must be from the South because he keeps saying y'all. Wait, the thing is, what I don't understand is, we are young and we're creating ourselves. And it's like not every single person on this panel has the same idea in mind. I know for myself, Julie and I, we are creative people and we express ourselves the way we want to. We use the clubs as a vehicle. But we're, I mean, I'm not saying that I'm I'm the cause for what the world is like going down in. We also hell. preach it's, individuality, it's but not through positive things violence. Okay, but, you know, people and get stopped when they hear about the drug part. I mean, that stops a lot of people. But John, what I want to say, but it gets a lot of other people going. Wait, wait, but what I want to say is not every, <laughs> but not every young person Jane, in the club and, and Jane, you know, they preach individuality. He preaches a sick ability to. And follow. there's a lot of us out there that enjoy that. If you're going to be in the New York area and would like free tickets to our show, please call 1-800-771-2700. Now you had something you wanted to ask. Go ahead. Yeah, I'd just like to ask the gentleman in the middle, have you ever been in any of the wars, Vietnam, maybe? Me? <laughs> Vietnam? Never. The Gigi. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what what did she say? Gigi. Did you ever, did you ever yeah. serve in the military? Serve in Vietnam? No, or? I have my own war. I'm playing. All right. You had something over here. Yeah. I think the club kids look really fabulous, but does the drugs affect you at all? Excuse me, let me answer that. <laughs> like, will they affect Thanks. some of you? Jane, Jane, you know, some of the, <laughs> Jane, one of the, one of the important things. Can I, being not can I say yeah. something? Okay, go. Like I said earlier, which you all must not understand gorgeous over there. <laughs> not everybody in a club is on drugs, and people need to realize that. Maybe that's a different show, it's a different subject, but I want it to be expressed. Uh, Jane, and, and, and Jane, every, may I interrupt a minute? Jane, one of the things I think people have to realize, uh, it was a good question about him being in a, in a war. Uh, most of these people are cowards. They don't. The they coward. won't. They to won't do what they, they do you alone. Did what I did what for they are doing. Yes. Yes. You notice one of these young ladies mentioned uh, something <laughs> like uh, cleansing a Holocaust. What I'm driving at is this: we have a serious problem in this country really where individuals this. like this are being uh, uh, almost martyred because uh -huh. of their acts of hatred uh -huh. and anger. I think we've got to say. No to hate like we have said. No to drugs. No, because to you have to hate. We have you to have to no. be hate okay. to get we something to done. No You've got to, to do hate. something about it. Not talk about we it. Have to You're right to take action. action. We all have people to like you. Are doing something. Something. Put yeah, people but you put us in jail for what we believe in. You're both right. <laughs> I believe in what I want to do. I'm going to do it. I just have a comment on what the um, sergeant said. I think that jail is the wrong place for these people. Absolutely. I think more along the line of a psychiatric yeah. ward. Yeah. Yeah. I've been there too. I've been there too. Let's get or, to me. I'm glad to hear you. Or the Bronx Zoo. You look like you brought the from the zoo. 38% increase in hate motivated oh. violence, and we could correlate that directly with. It's like this. No, you that's, that's the, not true. You have to get. I just, I just like to say, I'm a club kid. I go out. I do what I want to do. I have my fun. I look nothing like that guy. These guys have their fun. They're not out raping people, hurting people, and doing stuff not like that. Really. And I'm thankful they don't look like that guy. And that guy should be in jail. No, no, no. Well, because, because, because I don't get rich off it, and I don't entertain. That then I should be in jail. You look, shouldn't. Uh, look, uh, look, uh, uh, well, uh, I do. I just like to say is the root of all ego. I just, I just like to say guys, girls, animals. No, I don't care. That's something to be proud of. But yes, all it the is. And all I can, the I can do whatever kind of sex I want, you and I'm getting it. Stand Who by. You Excuse me. Some old We're fat gonna take bitch. another break. We're gonna be back. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you.
You're watching our guests talking about their own life experiences. If you have a personal story that you'd like to share with our show, please call 1-800-370-2712. something I want to say. I just want to say that I think that all these people sort of in some way need some type of attention. That's the key. That's yeah, something that we fail to mention. Me, you know, maybe they haven't gotten the attention when they were growing up. Now all of a sudden they want all this attention. This is their way of saying, I need help. I want people to see help me. I want me people to understand. Help me pay my rent. Why are you so sure about that? Why couldn't it just be about nonconformism? It's just not. You, if you listen to some of the stories, it just sounds like there was something that was missing and so now this is their chance. They're crying out. They want help. But you know, ma'am, we could we could use that as an excuse. Uh, what I have to my right, uh, you know, I'm really concerned about. We're seeing the beginning stages of a Waco, Texas. I mean, this... Okay, you know, wait a Jane, minute. Jane, Folks, hear his point right here. What he's talking about is another... Day. How many of you agree with Jane, him? We're not... <laughs> yeah? James. Jane, we're not looking at a freak. I mean, this guy, you know, he's, he's not a freak. He knows what he's doing. He's carefully calculating what he's doing, and he has to be stopped. It's okay. as simple Jane, as you're that. right. He has a point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a point earlier made, it seems that, you know, everybody's okay. complaining that Gigi beats up his audience and does whatever. People are forgetting that they're paying and going in knowing what's going to happen to them. I've seen people, grown men and women, thank him after the show for beating them up. Thank I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm, I've, seen, I've seen people say, Gigi, you kicked me in the ribs. It hurts. Here's the bruise. Thank you so much. And, and how what do you think that says? You it's, get paid for that too. It's what they want to do. If they they want to no, get they want to pay to get living, beat up. Living power that's fine with me. I have no problem. Beat up people. Well, let me tell you yeah. something. Yeah. Very yeah. That's, that's, that's very old. A police officer can beat up somebody, you can beat him up. but I can't do it. I think the cop is scarier because at least he fights alone. The police officer brings like about a gang. That's right. the only way they yeah, usually fight. Well, well, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. He'll fight you with his hands. He'll fight you with his hands. And I want to know coming. something, my friend. Uh, the police take a good beating uh, uh, in every way, shape, or form. But I'll tell you this: I think most American people thank God that there's a thin blue line protecting them from this. No, guy. no, not at all. You're doing more damage by, yeah. by locking people up. It's frightening that Gigi's out in the streets. I'm, it's ludicrous. Yeah, because I'm going to have your daughter. Yeah, I'm going to have your daughter. <laughs> It's frightening that Gigi's out in the street. If you call yourself um, their father, then what you're doing with them, sleeping with them, is called incest. That's fine. All right, and incest. it's totally ridiculous. Totally right. 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 no problem. I won't say that back there. Jane, this is what... That's an array of topics Jane. coming up today. Jane, this is what... Incest, attention. Incest. Uh, no right to tell me that incest. I can't this sleep with my dog. This is what Lauren was faced with 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And maybe the people... I'm glad you did this because you've exposed the ilk of America. You've no. exposed you've exposed the, the power, that we're the having. power, the power of the underground <laughs> in America that speaks for the Sorry. angry youth. You're we're out of time. No, I see it, Steve, as a public the real service. No, I see it as a public service. People now know. I didn't know yeah, who he was. We all know now. We're out of time. I want to thank everybody for being here. Kids. You, our audience. Yours. Have a great day. For a transcript of our show, please send five dollars along with the program name, subject, and air date to Burrell's Transcripts. Post Office Box 7, Livingston, New Jersey, 07039. For a video cassette, call 1-800-4-VIDEO.